How do you know you have executive presence? You might hope that people see you as confident and charismatic. You might hope that people see you as a leader, but do they? That's what we'll talk about in this video. I'm going to share four ways that you can identify if you have executive presence or not. First, I quickly want to take a moment to define what is executive presence. Now, if you are a regular subscriber of this channel, you've probably seen other videos that I've done around executive presence or leadership presence, and you'll probably know that I use these terms interchangeably. But if you are watching for the very first time and you don't know what executive presence is, you've heard of the term, but you don't really know what it is, well, let's take a minute and define it. Executive presence is the ability to show up, communicate and interact in a way that draws people to you and leaves a lasting positive impression. It's something that is often noticed when you walk into a room. It lingers long after you have left the room. If you have heard of the wow factor or charisma or the it factor, all of these things are different ways of describing executive presence. It's basically an elusive quality that makes you stand out, that makes you memorable, that makes you noticed. Now, some people have executive presence, some people don't. So let's continue with this video and find out whether you have executive presence or not. The first of the four techniques requires you to analyze your work interactions. And I want you to ask yourself questions like, do people come to you for advice? Do people listen and act on your advice? Do people listen to you during meetings or do they ignore you? These are all important questions you need to ask yourself as to whether you have executive presence or not. Because if you do have it or if you don't have it, it will definitely show up in your workplace interactions. People will respond and interact with you according to the energy that you put out. So if you put out energy that exudes executive presence, then people will respond and react accordingly. If you don't put out any energy at all that projects executive presence or charisma or confidence, people will respond and react accordingly as well. People won't ask for your opinion. They won't listen to your advice or act on the advice that you give them. They will ignore you in meetings. This is because nothing about you exudes executive presence. Nothing about you commands their attention. The elements of executive presence, your outfit, your body language, your communication, none of these elements are telling the other person that you are important and you have something important to say. Whereas if you are high energy, if you exude charisma and confidence, then people are going to respond and react accordingly as well. They will listen to you during meetings. They will ask for your opinion. They will act on your advice. Because you have convinced them that they should and that they can. Every element of your executive presence, your body language, your outfit, your communication says to that person that they can trust you, they can believe in you, they can respect you, and they can listen to you as a leader. So your workplace interactions and how people react to you, how they respond to you is really the first thing that you should look at. Think to your workplace interactions that you've had over the past six months, your interactions with other people, do they indicate that you have executive presence? Think about this and let me know in the comments below how you rate in regards to your workplace interactions and executive presence. The second way you can identify if you have executive presence is to compare your performance evaluations. So periodically at work, you have performance evaluations or performance reviews. In those performance reviews, your boss would have mentioned things about your performance at work, both your technical skill, but hopefully your soft skill as well. And it's really in the soft skill element of your performance at work that your executive presence presence will show up. Now, if you have access to those performance reviews, I assume you do, you can collect copies of those performance reviews, say for the past five years and compare them. Is there any evolution with what your boss is telling you. I want you to analyze them and track your progress. And what you're looking for are areas of improvement, say in your communication, an increased level of responsibility, leading and influencing others, your boss feeling that you are more capable 
or an increase in contribution toward a project or the team. It can be harder to track your progress around executive presence, mostly because there's no established measures or tools to actually measure it or evaluate it. Executive presence shows up in your soft skill, not your technical skill, and soft skill is notably more difficult to evaluate. If you like what you learned so far in this video, there are two things you can do to help my channel. The first is to hit the like button below this video. The second is to subscribe to my channel. Every week I share videos on leadership to help you on your leadership journey and I would be honored to share those videos with you too. The third thing you can do to see if you have executive presence is to evaluate the projects you're working on. Are they high level projects or low level projects? Are you the leader in the project or are you the follower? These are important questions that you need to ask yourself and you need to be honest with your answers here because your answers can really indicate or help you understand whether you have executive presence or not or more whether other people think you have executive presence or not because remember it's all about the impression that you give if you give the impression that you are capable of leading a project people will believe that you can lead the project if you convince them that you can and do show up with charisma and confidence they'll react accordingly. If you can convince them through the presence that you project and you convey that you are capable of high level projects, they'll give you those high level projects to work on. People will respond and react according to the energy that you put out. So take a concrete look at the projects you're currently working on. Are they high level projects or are they low level projects? Is there a lot weighing on the success of this project? Are you a leader in the project? Ask yourself these kinds of questions and the answers when you are honest with yourself will help you get a clearer picture on whether you have executive presence or not. The last technique is to do a peer evaluation. Now, this is something that I've done many times with emerging leaders in my in-person workshop, the Leadership Presence Masterclass. It is extremely effective in helping you understand what other people think of you in helping you understand the impression that you actually give around the office. Because this isn't something that we often ask of other people. We don't really go around asking people, what do you think of me or what impression do I give you? It's something that we really guess. We kind of leave other people to decide and we try to guess and understand what they think of us. But quite often we could be wrong. Many times I've assumed people think one thing of me when in actual fact they think something completely different. This could be the same for you as well. Guessing what other people think of you or the impression that you give through these signs and signals that other people give you, it's not very effective. The more effective way of going about this and understanding this is to actually ask them. And you might actually find out that you are exuding and projecting executive presence when you thought you weren't, when you thought you didn't. You might realize that people see you as confident when you thought that you never come across as confident at all. In order to find out where the truth is, in order to find out what people genuinely think of you, what impression you give other people in the workplace, you need to ask them. And here is how the peer evaluation can help you with that. You write on a piece of paper one question. What impression do I give at work? Describe me in three words. Then you give that piece of paper to three people in the office, your boss, your coworker, or someone else outside of your team. Tell them you are working on your personal brand and you really value their insights. Once you have these three pieces of paper on your desk, you will have a much deeper understanding and insight into what other people think of you, into how you come across, into what impression you give, and more importantly, whether you have executive presence or not. So ideally, what you're looking for here are answers in those pieces of paper that correlate with you having executive presence. You may be wondering how you can build executive presence at work. Maybe you've gone through this video, you've identified that you don't have executive presence. What do you do about that now? How can you build it? Well, you need to watch this video next where I delve into strategies and ways that you can start to build executive presence at work. If you have any questions about what you've learned in this video, then please let me know in the description or in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.